is something that I know I'll remember forever. Um, and it will probably always make me cry like this. Excuse me. Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel. This is a really exciting video for me because I'm gonna talk about a project I love and I'm gonna talk about a person I love. I just got married a few weeks ago at the beginning of January and for my husband, I secretly made the Gresham wrap as a wedding gift. So in this video, I'll talk a little bit about my wedding and I'll talk about this project. I'll start with a little bit about myself. I haven't shared too much of my personal life besides my knitting interests, and you've seen a couple of my cats by now on the channel. But I am Mark. I am a knitter, a crocheter, someone who loves crafting and always has. And I'm also a musician, and I work professionally as a singer and sometimes a pianist. So a lot of my work takes me on the road, which is a great time for me to knit and work on projects. And I love getting to make music as a profession. My husband and I first met at Yale University. I was there auditioning while he was a student in the music program. And then later we reconnected at the University of Notre Dame, where I was getting a master's degree and he had received his undergraduate degree and was back on a visit. So some of these pictures scrolling by are Bits of our journey, some from Connecticut, and now scrolling through South Bend at the University of Notre Dame campus. And something really special for the two of us is that we're both in the same line of work. We both work professionally as singers. We sing classical music, choral music, things with orchestras. And it's really amazing that besides spending time together as spouses and best friends, we also get to spend time together working and traveling. So it's been an amazing journey and I'm really emotional in this video. I'm gonna cry a lot and it's just because I really feel transformed. I feel like my life is shifted by this uh, declaration of my love. Really, I should say of our love, so. I'll talk a little bit more about the wedding later, and I'll cry more later. For now, let's talk about the knitting. The knitting side of this video is that I secretly made the Gresham wrap. I kept it a secret from my husband. And this pattern comes from Blue Sky Fibers, and it was designed by Michael Vlodman. And it uses several different colors of wool stock, the worsted weight, 100% non-superwash wool from Blue Sky Fibers. Woolstock is one of my favorite yarns. It's probably my number one. I'm also a big fan of Sweet Georgia Tough Love Sock, but I love, love, love Woolstock. I love working with it. I love the colors. I like winding it. Um, and I really love what happens once I block it. It blooms so nicely. And I think the stitch definition always turns out beautifully. So this wrap showcases a number of their colorways. And it's a really large wrap. I'll insert some footage here as I'm talking about it. This project is knit on the bias. So I've got one start of it here. And then we get our stripes, our chunks of the different colorways running on the diagonal. And each one of them features a different stitch pattern and therefore a different texture. I think this wrap is really stunning. It's something that was featured in my local yarn shop, Around the Table Yarns, in Shaker Heights, Ohio. And from the minute I entered that shop and saw this hanging above their wool stock, I thought, I want to make that one day. I think it's really beautiful, and it's not an advanced pattern. Obviously, you need to have good command of keeping count of your stitches and rows because of all of the shifts in stitch pattern throughout but there are no advanced techniques used. You're just using your knits and pearls in different arrangements. 
to create this wrap. We have a large section of the cream across the center, and then when we reach the other side, it's completely symmetrical. So the colors repeat in the same order, and you use the same stitch patterns on each band of color. It's also a nice weight. I'll hold it up here. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's not terribly thick. It feels like a sweater weight. It's not near as bulky as using worsted weight with cables. So definitely warm, cozy, squishy, but not extremely heavy, not overly heavy. And uh, when it's not in use, it folds up pretty well. And uh, I'd say takes up about as much space as a store-bought blanket scarf. Here it is folded up. As I mentioned, this was a shop sample that was featured at my local shop around the table yarns and shaker. And when my husband had visited the shop with me on multiple occasions, he mentioned how much he would love to have this wrap. And it was one of those situations where I just wasn't sure if he would really want to wear it or if I would want to spend the time to make it because it's a fairly large garment. And so I just wasn't sold on making it at that time. As our engagement moved along and we got closer to the wedding, I started to think about what I would get him as a wedding day present or a wedding gift. And I thought, you know, maybe this wrap would be a meaningful and memorable gift to signify our wedding. And because it's sort of a statement piece, it's eye-catching, sort of classy, glamorous, I thought it fit the theme of a wedding gift. So then I had to figure out when I could make this large garment where he would never see me working on it. So fortunately, I was working in the middle of nowhere, Kansas, really beautiful middle of nowhere, for a couple of weeks this past summer. So I planned it out, purchased my yarn, and I worked on it for those two weeks, and I was able to get everything I needed done. I planned out my next chance for him being out of town for work while I was home, and I used that opportunity to later block the wrap, which was another big feat because it's so long. But I soaked it in my wool wash and then was able to spread it out in one of the rooms of our house and close a door so that none of the cats could tamper with it. And then I was able to wrap it up and keep it a surprise. I think the gift was a hit, and I know that he's excited about having it. He's worn it several times already since the wedding, and hopefully it will always be something that reminds us of that day and what it felt like, you know, something to bring us back to that moment. So what was our wedding like? Um, as I said before, it was a sort of royal wedding in feel. We had a traditional Episcopal service with homily and communion, and a lot of music. As we're both musicians, music is important to us. We had a lot of ideas of what we wanted included for our wedding ceremony, and we have a lot of great singer friends. So most of the music in the service was provided by our organist at the cathedral, some organist friends of ours, and then our cathedral choir. And then in addition to that, we asked our professional singer friends if they would be willing or interested in singing one piece during the communion. So this group of our singer friends came together the morning of to put together the piece Sing Gently by Eric Whitaker. And our very good friend Maggie conducted, and our great friend Tyler played the piano, and all of these people singing for us are just the most beautiful friends, the most wonderful colleagues of ours, and their singing was, I think, the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I can't share the audio here for copyright purposes, but I'm going to put a link in the description box to an unlisted video of this, so go listen and come back and you'll maybe understand more of my weeping after you've heard how beautiful they sound. The words to this piece are really beautiful, and that's the reason that we wanted this piece included during our wedding ceremony. And I might cry as I read them. I'm going to cry just thinking about it, so. The text is, May we sing together always. 
May our voice be soft. May our singing be music for others, and may it keep others aloft. Sing, sing gently, always. Sing, sing as one. May we stand together, always. May our voice be strong. May we hear the singing, and may we always sing along. Sing, sing gently, always. Sing, sing as one. Singing gently as one. It may sound really simple, but as I mentioned, my husband and I are both singers. We sing professionally. That's what we do for most of our work. And these words of, may we sing together always, is really poignant. It's the thought of, may we be together always. May we love each other always. And if you sing, even for fun, you probably know what it feels like to have your voice um, expressing your emotions times 10 or times 100. So having these people we love so much, <laughs> excuse me, having these people we love so much come together and sing for us and with us is something that I know I'll remember forever. Um, and it will probably always make me cry like this. <laughs> Excuse me. So anyway. Uh, I definitely feel changed being married. Um, I feel happier than I've ever felt. And I'll share a little bit of why that is and, and why it feels like such a triumph for me. So I think for so many years, I just thought that I couldn't be who I am and that people wouldn't accept me or respect me um, being different. And I know there are plenty of people out there who still wouldn't, but I'm not as worried, I think. I feel a sense of bravery and to know that I have somebody who loves me completely for who I am and that I love him in return, it makes me the luckiest. So I think why not share this? And I'm so grateful for so many of you who are watching and we find um, similarities through a hobby or a craft that we enjoy. And I hope that you're someone who can accept me. And if that's not how you feel, that maybe you can grow to accept me. Um, anyway, I've always been overly sensitive and conscious of, of what people might think and what I should do to fit in and what I should do to, to please other people. And so the morning of my wedding, I was driving to pick up a target order for something we needed the day of. And I got in the car and I'm driving and I just started to weep. And it was because I'd never felt more honest and completely me at any point in time before that moment. And so much of that confidence and sense of self has come from having someone invest in me and support me and really prove that they love me and it's okay for me to make the decisions I've made, whether that's with work or my interests or how I want to shape my life and shape who I am. Um, so anyway, I'm so grateful for all the support I have in my life, whether that's somebody physically um, right next to me, like my husband, or if it's somebody far away that watches a video and um, cares and takes the time to... Just someone who takes the time to love openly. I can't even say it. <laughs> I'm so moved by people who love openly 
and wear their heart on their sleeve and take that risk to care about something publicly and care about someone publicly. So I feel like that's my purpose in the world and something I've wanted and something I've invested in for a long time now is what difference can I make, whether that's in my very small corner of the world or if I can reach people um, further out. So that's my charge and that's what I hope to see in the world is people that let themselves care and let themselves build other people up around them and let themselves love. <laughs> I appreciate you watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to see what I care about and um, listen to me talk, watch me knit, whatever it is we're doing in these videos. And I hope it's okay that I've shared a little bit more about my personal life and myself in this video today. Um, I can't say how much I appreciate all the support and all of you who are choosing to live and love and show what you care about and be passionate about whatever it is you do. So again, thanks for being here with me. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, share this with a friend who might appreciate it, and I look forward to knitting with you, talking with you, and uh, just spending time in the future. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.